Hey, uh, this is the Nickelodeon portion of the show. Um, <laughs> how y'all doing? What's going on? Um, shout out to Hood Chicks. Uh, you know, they everywhere. You know, you can always tell when a hood chick be on Facebook. You know, she got a long middle name. You know, it'd be like Keisha, and I got time for this, Jones. You know what I'm talking about? I'd be like, not now, not now. I'm not accepting that friend request, I'm not doing that. Shoot, <laughs> you ever seen a hood chick working in a clothing store? You know what I'm talking about, they name tag tattooed on the side of their neck, you've seen them, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Had a hood chick one time, she snapped on me because I messed up her name. I was like, excuse me, can you show me where the men's jeans are, Miss uh, Lemonade? She was like, um, my name is not Lemonade, okay? It's Lamana Day, boo boo. Get it together, it's Lamana Day. I was like, dang, um, uh, wow. Uh, can I speak to your manager, please? <laughs> she, really? You trying to tell? Hashtag no swag, boo boo, no swag. It's like, wow. I made it worse, the manager came out, seen the manager's name tag. I was like, thanks for seeing about my problem, Miss. Uh, Orange? She was like, uh, my name is not Orange, okay? It's Orange, yeah, boo. Get it together, get it together. I'm like, Old Navy is hiring fruit. This is crazy, people. We... America's got a problem on their hands when fruit is getting work. This is not the change Obama was talking about. Um, this is not what he was talking about back in 08, that's all. <laughs> yeah, man, I just moved here from Atlanta, but I'm originally from Portland, Oregon. That's where I'm originally from. Uh, number one question people always ask me, so are there any black people in Portland? I'd be like, no, nah, actually me and my family was the last black family to ever live in Portland. Uh, it's 0% right now as we speak. We only come back every February for Black History Month. That's the only time black people are ever in the state of Oregon. That's, yeah. Like, this one girl, she made me mad because she was like, what do y'all eat in Portland? Uh, food, what other answer is there? Like, what, I, <laughs> she was like, well, cause you know, like the South got soul food, you know, New York got pizza. I was like, I mean, we're not the blackest people, but we got the basics down. We eat soul food like everybody else, you know? Like, I feel like my blackness was being attacked, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went home that day and watched Django just to feel like something. Like, this is crazy. Power to the people. How dare she? It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'm a lazy individual, very lazy. Uh, and it affects me in the workplace. You know, uh, I'll get jobs, but then my laziness will mess it up. <laughs> like, I'll get the job in the interview, we're like, hey, congratulations, we want to hire you. Uh, do you mind starting off at minimum wage? I'm like, that's cool, shoot. That mean I get to do minimum work because uh, I ain't about to do maximum work for the minimum. That don't make no sense. Uh, I barely pass math, but I know the difference between maximum and minimum and, and I'm not doing one for the other. I know that much. I'm not working that hard for these $8. I'm not, not gonna work that hard for these $8. <laughs> that's how it be sometimes, man. Shoot, man, I realize though, like my generation, I realize we're not gonna like have grandma and grandpa love, you know? Like, my generation's kind of messed up when it comes to relationships, you know? Like, between Twitter and 2 chains, we just getting dumb out here. It's just crazy, you know? Like, young ladies aren't bright like they used to be, you know? And then, fellas, we lie. That's the game we play. I remember I lied to this one chick. We were hanging out. I said, hey, I'm in school right now. I'm studying to be an architect. She was like, oh my god, that is so good. Like, my cousin into that kind of stuff, too. You know, like, digging up bones and stuff. I'm like, oh my god, did you just say bones, man? Mom? <laughs> Talk about bills, them two different occupations. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> Some of y'all ain't laughing, like, I don't get it. That's the same thing. What is he talking about? Like, hashtag not funny. It's cool, don't worry. They'll explain it on the ride home. Don't worry about it. You be driving home, like, I still don't get it. What is he talking about? That was the same thing. It's, it's cool, it's cool. Really, my sister, she dumb. She not that bright, you know, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One time we was having a conversation with this dude. The dude was like, hey, my birthday's on New Year's. She said, oh my God, so you gotta wait exactly one whole year for your birthday. I said, I'm done with you. I can't believe you just said that out loud. Really, just, really. So we only wait nine months for the birthday to come through. Only New Year's babies get a whole year. That's what we do, get out and tell the mama because she raised you better than this. I know she did. I know she did. I know it. Uh, I don't, maybe it's just, uh, I don't trust white people with dreads. That's just a general rule of mine. I just, that's just something that I live by. You know what I'm saying? That's just, I, like when I see a white person with dreads, I feel like an old white woman around black people just, he looks suspicious. What is he doing? This is, I need to call the cops. What is he up to? This is, <laughs> like I don't even think white people trust white people with dreads. I feel like white people look at him like, yeah, he ain't one of us. He is not one of us. It's like a black woman with straight blonde weave, you know, it's just, it don't look right, it's not natural, it's just something's wrong with it, you know? <laughs>
It's definitely like, I don't get, I, like, I don't like when ladies tell you, oh, I'm the nicest girl you'll ever meet. I'm the nicest chick you'll ever meet. You know, because it's like, unless you give it up on the first date, uh, you're not the nicest, you know what I'm saying? you just friendly, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you're just a friendly chick, but you ain't the nicest, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to know the difference, you know? <laughs> like, chicks be like, yeah, I'm the nicest chick. I'm like, so you giving it up tonight? She be like, no. I'm like, oh, you just friendly. That's all that is, you just friendly. Uh, we gonna go Dutch on this friendly date, because I only treat nice girls. I don't treat, I don't treat friendly chicks. I just treat nice girls. You, you just friendly, so. Yeah, yeah, that's how that goes. Uh, <laughs> I saw this picture of Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen the other day, and uh, they was proving a stereotype about white women not really aging that well. Like, it was pretty bad, you know? It was like, it made me think like, maybe white women should come with expiration dates, you know what I'm saying? Like, the back of their neck should just say, best of views by July 2024. Cause then at least that way you know what you getting, you know? <laughs> you know, like, cause like, you see a white woman, she have two kids, she be 30, look like she 55, you know what I'm saying? You see a black woman, she had five kids, look like she 15, you know? <laughs> she might be 15, actually, you never know nowadays, I mean. Shoot, black women start at what, 12, I think? You know, I seen Precious, I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah uh, I don't know if y'all heard this in the news, uh, this dude in college ate his roommate. Did y'all hear this story? Anybody heard that one? Yeah, this dude in college ate his roommate. Yeah, ate his brain and his heart. Yeah, it was ridiculous, man, ridiculous. And like, to me, like, what made it, like, the worst part was that I found out it was a black man that committed the crime, you know? And it shocked me, you know? But not even because of the cannibalism. I was shocked that he didn't eat the ribs. I'm just like, sir, how you gonna not, like, my nigga, how you gonna not eat ribs, bro? Like, every black person know ribs is the most important meal of the day. That's how we get protein around here. Like, you are not representing right now, like, I had to go home and watch Django just to feel like something. Like, this is crazy. You are not representing power to the people. Um, <laughs> my name is Ruben. Thank y'all for the time. Y'all been cool.